soon to test with the fantastic Beneteau Antares 11 flybridge. Follow us. you will see I have not doubled but she actually has a lot more hair than I do. Agatha is my girlfriend who will accompany us in this video to provide us with the description of the boat. Undoubtedly a breathtaking sight viewed from the flybridge of this magnificent Beneteau Antares 11 motor yacht. We will describe some technical features of the boat to you. We are homologated on a boat of 990 meters in length but the boat is a total of 11 meters long. The width is 340 meters. Needless to say, it is excessively wide. You can't put them on a trailer and drive them on vacation, but I would have them transported or brought by ship or water to wherever you want. In this position on the flybridge, without the sunroof, we are fully exposed to the sun. So you can either take the sun at the back, or better yet, a double sunbed where Agatha is enjoying this clear evening. But the sun is shining and we are still having fun. And in this position where I am sitting, there are a pair of seats facing one another. However, in the middle, I can also add a sun deck to create an additional sun area here at the front of the space. So on this boat, you can say everything except that there is no place for sunbathing. All the equipment is specified on the dashboard as well as on the flybridge section of the vessel. We have motor control, bow thruster, sift wake, stabilizers to stabilize the boat or rather fold. The Garmin instruments located at the front are also listed, so I am able to perform exactly the same actions and tasks here as I can in the cabin and the main cockpit area. Very comfortable. However, in this location, I am entirely outside and it feels as if I am on an additional vessel. The hull of this boat is genuinely 100% equipped. In reality, there is also the location that you see here in front of me. An outstanding table, a horseshoe-shaped sofa that continues inward. So there is enough space to comfortably accommodate many people. But the further highlight, the further surprise is this part which is foldable in this model. We have installed the servo-assisted version, so we have an additional square meter that you can fully utilize to swim in the sea completely. Excellent passage to directly access the boat outside. In fact, from this tax position, I can go directly outside through this very large door. At this juncture, I can also proceed directly to land when I arrive at the dock. I'm not doing it now because there is no land but water and I don't feel like taking a bath. And another important factor is the safe and very wide passages which enable people to move forward without encountering any difficulties. As you can see, the battalions are really very safe because they are almost one meter high and then they move forward and can relax in pairs, in threes. The bowsprit is actually huge. Three people can easily fit who can lie down. She is very tall, but I could also find space on the other side. The main cabin of the boat is located in the square and is completely adjacent to the outside. In fact, the door is currently open and Sandy is filming us from outside. The continuity of the boat is therefore guaranteed 100%. But to return to the topic I began discussing on this nearby couch, a comfortable seating arrangement for 10 to 15 individuals can be accommodated. There are absolutely no issues with space whatsoever. It can thus be conveniently packaged to make it smaller or larger as needed or desired. We also have the kitchen in front of us. This square is clever and elegantly furnished. The kitchenette on the starboard side of the boat is fully equipped with a microwave, refrigerator, sink, and a double hot plate for cooking meals on board. 
The entire area is used for food storage on the boat. And as you can see, it is very well utilized as it is located right in front of the table where the food is served. Everything is comfortable and practical to use. I am at the helm, then at the control tower, and finally at the command center of the boat. Actually, I'm here and can control, but next to me, I have the sofa, which was turned around and converted into a double seat version so that Agatha can sit next to me. No matter who your travel companion is, we also have two seats plus one for navigation to bring him together with you in the navigation direction. It's fantastic. Let's see some details of this control panel. We have a GPS mapping equipment up front, and additionally, we have a compass to maintain the course. I have not mentioned the instruments that monitor and control the two Suzuki engines yet, but there are two Suzuki engines with 300 horsepower each, both with twin screws. Additionally, we possess the Astarolo system that is under our control. The fart beam rudder, the spotlight, the zip wake, the short slide flap, and the instrumentation. All the details about Suzuki, a dashboard that is super equipped with advanced features, the result of a well-equipped well with a table, just as we have it right in front of us. Numerous individuals fit in and discover space. Presently, we are easily two and have a spacious table in front of us. If we want to enjoy an aperitif, we'll be prepared in 30 minutes. Red jacket, yes, but it feels like we're anticipating the prints on the white horse. 600 horsepower on this boat for an absolutely extraordinary combination. Tiago intentionally kept the engines running to demonstrate that they are completely silent. With a lowered voice and a microphone positioned close to the engine, no sound is detectable. There is a slight vibration, but it is almost negligible. The engines are exceptional in terms of thrust, power, and noise development, thus enhancing comfort, an ideal match. The sleeping area in the cabins is truly excellent and exceeds expectations. I deliberately brought Agatha down because she is taller than me. We have different sizes and proportions. She easily fits in, and there is an excellent area designated for the refrigerator and the cabinet on this particular side. It is additionally a good passage to quickly change clothes or dry off before entering the sleeping cabins. Thus, this relief is deliberately established and made available to be fully utilized throughout the entire duration of the transition period. The owner's cabin is at the front of the bow area of the boat. It is a comfortable bed, as you can see. We have a bed with a length of 1.95 meters and a width that is similar to what we have at home, a position for two individuals to comfortably spend an entire vacation and rest in comfort above this bed during their stay. However, we have areas for storing everything under the mattresses that we need for storage. We deliberately left all the blinds down to demonstrate that you can establish a fully dark environment for a good night's sleep, even if there are points of entry to the outside and consequently, a glimpse of the sea. Expect that there is only one window here. I was here first, I was here first, I was here first. As you can see, the heights are wide because an agate fits completely inside. The bathroom has direct access from the cabin, but there is also another door to directly access the salon. So of course, the other room also has access to the outside. Behind me is the toilet, on which I am currently sitting to show you the place, but it is closed and I have my pants on, so don't worry. The shower is separate in this case, so within this area here, always with a height of over 45 centimeters. Look how much space there is here, an agatha, and also in terms of space, there is really a lot of additional cabin under the entire square. Another double bed, which is currently very chaotic because we still have to assemble all the equipment as it is a brand new boat and has only recently arrived. However, the space is practically accessible since there are two genuine extra beds. For example, here an Oscar also fits comfortably for sleeping. 
So a 15 year old boy who is 10 years old can rest comfortably if he has offspring who are not overly large in size. In any other case, it is simply a bench to relish this location as the ocean offers a breathtaking panorama, even if it happens to be a lake. Okay, it is important that the children can sleep comfortably to enjoy the view No more talking, let's test it. Divide the crowds, always wear safety on your wrist, fold the gears, press the accelerator, enjoy. Let's also see how long it takes for this amazing Antares 11 flybridge with two white Suzuki engines with 300 horsepower to glide. Crazy quiet shift gears, hang on, full throttle, three, two, one, go, one, two, three seconds, four, five seconds. any of our videos just subscribe to this channel all tech and navigation info that I mentioned during the vid and also at the beginning of the vid can still be found in the drop-down list of this vid as well as at the end of the vid in the overlay screen below you will also find the link to the business information in the drop-down menu options you can see the price and availability of this boat there Moreover, you have the opportunity to contact us in various ways and get more information about it by phone, email or in person at our office in Exemption del Garda. After a sunset at Lake Garda, I wish you fair winds and watch the weather.